Here we go, the professional stainless steel chain whip. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm terrified to use it. Oh! <laughs> what up, Rap Pack? It's your boy here, King Rap Jar, back with another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And if you guys aren't, you know the drill. Get over here! <laughs> Flip! It's about to get a whole lot brighter, Rap Pack, because your boy is here. And today, we got. Uh, the crate! That's <laughs> the new crate, just so you know it's. Yeah! <laughs> we call that the crate crank. <laughs> Today, we got the crate out here because we are gonna be doing Guess That Price. We're gonna have three different weapons inside of here that are all gonna be at variants of different prices. One that's gonna be in the $1 to $50 range, a second one that's gonna be in the middle class range at $50 to $100. No, fifty to ninety dollars because it's dwindling. What? <laughs> it's middle class. Oh, <laughs> it's oh, dwindling. I see. Oh, yeah. And then the last category being from ninety to one hundred and fifty dollars. All right. So that is what we're gonna be doing today, guys. We're gonna be going through this. But one of the items in here, you guys have already seen. That's the item we're starting out with here. This came in fan mail. Let's get it out. I don't know what the price is. Neither does Parker. So what we're gonna do is get it out, try that shit out, and then we're gonna get our best estimate on what the price is. But first off, let's get that epic first item out so I can be. The literal scorpion today. I call this one the Milwaukee Buck. Ready? Yeah. In one swell move, I'm gonna open this thing up. Okay. Milwaukee Buck. Damn. Look how not far you got. You're being a really big Milwaukee. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, it's really good. It's a great like, knife. It's a great knife. There's ten other things on the top of my head I could think of that are better than that. <sighs> Name them. Pro bar. Better knife. <laughs> <laughs> a second better knife. <laughs> Three seconds of extra thought. <laughs> So we're opening this thing up right now. I'm gonna grab the first item straight out because you guys have seen the packaging. But like I said, guys, there's a fan mail. So I never opened up. I said I was gonna say for another video. That's what we're doing. Here we go. The professional stainless steel chain whip. Oh God, this <laughs> reeks of danger. It really does. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm terrified to use it because let's open this thing up. Oh. Yes. Typically, guys, I you know, I am actually somebody that, you know, I'm interested in the the how to learn how to use the weapons. And I've used a chain whip before because it's very similar to a, a string dagger, a string kanai. It's the same thing. The way chain lips are used, you gotta have a spear tip and you whip it and you're trying to get the tip to hit. But I have never seen one where the entire chain was bladed. <laughs> it doesn't matter where you hit. That's the scary part. Yeah, you just wrap it around somebody and it's like, hey, look, Jimmy got a new zipper installed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's pop this thing open, take a look. All right, guys, here it is. I'm gonna take it out of the plastic right now. This is one of the biggest, the lengthiest freaking sword condoms we've seen on this Jeez. channel. All right. So there we go. It's a freaking <laughs> chain whip. This thing is freaking ridiculous. <laughs> This thing right here, man, you can sit it really still like this and display it. It kind of just looks like a sword, you know? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. And then it's just... <laughs> so we're gonna go outside, guys, and very carefully try this thing out. And guessing off, I mean, this is you... I mean, we're so enamored by, like, the look of it. But still, you guess the price. Oh, right. So we're gonna go outside and try this thing out, see what kind of shreds it makes, see if I can even use it for one. Then we'll guess the price range. All right, here we go. Finish myself! <laughs> Oh, Ellie. Oh. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> when you're joking around, it's like, okay, it's not a <laughs> This thing is dangerous. Let's try it. All right, here we go. Chain whip, but let's try it out. Three, two, one. Oh! I don't think I got it correctly. Okay, oh, no! I punctured it! Yeah, you took the cap off. I actually did it! Yeah, that wasn't a good hit. I could do it better. Let's try it again. Three, two, one. Oh! Dude, I got it! That's a tip! That is a tip! Oh! oh. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about! This thing is literally like a sword. Because you know a normal chain whip? We've used a whipper here before. And yeah. with no success. Uh, <laughs> very little, yeah, yeah. Yes, the whips are very hard because you have to get the literal pin tip tip of it. This thing, dude, even if you miss it by like this much, it's like a blade. I know. That just it's, cuts. Yeah, and even, yeah, like the, the whole point of this, like if you hit down here, you come back with it. You come, and you so, pull back hard. And the whole thing is like from here all the way to the tip, it's gonna grind against it. Exactly. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> the slow-mo got smacked. <laughs> but dude, did you see that? Oh, I saw that. <laughs> Oh, I saw all of that. I'm getting pretty 
good at it, right? A little bit, a little bit too good, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna try to use this thing straight up like a sword. I'm gonna go down the middle. Like I said, any type of whip. Your goal is pretty much to get just the tip to land on the target, but this thing, I think we might be able to do a little bit more than that. So we're gonna try it out, see what kind of damage a scorpion bladed chain will do. Three, two, one. Oh! oh, oh. They literally grabbed it into it and pulled it through. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> that was a drag. That was a drag. I literally landed on top of it and pulled it forward. Let's check out the slow mo. I think I might have got down some semi to get over here. <laughs> All right, now let's go for a chop. Oh! <laughs> Nice! Yeah. yeah! All right, so we got the slice. Oh, man. Damn. All right, that is looking sweet. I think I'm gonna go inside. I think I got a good idea of where to go from here in the pricing. Once they, I'll, I'll explain everything on the inside. All right, so. Now that we are here with Lucifer's spine, we can be able to, you know, the price. What are you thinking? Aesthetically, amazing. Physically, mm. difficult for me. I'm gonna say the 50 to 90. 50 to 90? All right, he's saying 50 to 90. One thing I gotta say is when I used it is, you guys can see how on the top here, it's very, very straight, and it maintained that at the start, but obviously this is my first time ever using a chain whip, so I had a couple miss hits, and any miss hits that happen, it pretty much, you can go down, it gets less straight. Go ahead and go down. It's like scoliosis. It just gets more and more curved. Hey, by the time they're 80, you'll just be like this. <laughs> <laughs> we got this thing. I'm going to say, I cannot imagine this is more than $50. Oh, really? I don't think this is more than $50. Like, to my opinion... Okay. I mean, that's interesting. I think it's really cool. That's how I know it's cheap. Because Cold Steel M48, they would not make this product because this is just a lawsuit waiting to happen. So they are making this kind of stuff. True, but I think I, I kind of went through that price range because I think it's more on the lower end because of the novelty of it. You know what I mean? Okay. Of like they can they kind of have that leverage to charge more because like where else are you gonna get this? Let's see who's right. I'll do get my phone, check the notes. I don't even know. And this is the no reflection if whoever sent this items, like, oh, you just spent this much. It's just it's better because I literally don't know on any of them, but especially on this one. All right, so here we go. There's the box. Here's the product. Parker said the 50 to the $90 range. I said zero to 50. On screen, you got the faces, very un un unappealing faces right there. Let's see who got the point. <laughs> it's sixty dollars. I knew it. Ten bucks. I knew it. It's, I, I said it's exactly what I said. Lower end. Bro, you can go on the shipping. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I think I can see why it started bending. This thing buckled out. Still worth sixty bucks. I never said it was worth sixty. Hey, still worth sixty? I didn't. Huh? I never <laughs> said it was worth it. I said it was just cost that much. All right. So far, got the point on the board. Now let's see what's next in the box. Can you feel the breeze? Yeah, it's pretty, really, 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 really choppy. <laughs> every time you did it, it's changed. That's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next item we got in here is very small. The M48 Urban Stinger. This is tough. It seems like it'd be obvious, like, oh, that's very small. The next item must yeah. be either really shitty or really amazing. But M48 is the few companies where I could actually see charging more than 100 bucks. I gotta bucks. see it, man. I got it. Mean, <laughs> the boxes mean nothing right here. Yeah, so if you guys don't know M48, guys, they are like a mainstream weapon brand. Like, they're like the hype beast brand of weapons. And basically, a lot of what they sell could be really really upcharged. A lot of their stuff is worth it, but let's see what we got here. The urban Stinger. Does that like sting the community? No, that's what they call me, the Urban Stinger. All right, let's check it out. And it looks pretty small. Where's the knife at? Oh, this thing is super small, dude. I think I have my answer. <laughs> that has to be less than 25, right? What? That is extremely tiny. What the hell is it? Oh, wait, I think I saw it here. Includes shoulder sheath harness. Yeah, this is a shoulder sheath harness. Come with man tits, too. <laughs> the box did not say actual size. Wow. Oh, my God. You know, on the Skittles bag, it says, like, oh, this picture is not representative of what's inside the bag. Yes, exactly. This is, this is visually representative of what is inside the box. <laughs> There's no, no way, no. right? Okay. One dollar to fifty. We're gonna go outside and test it either way. You guys let me know in the comments. We have to see the last item to know for sure, but I'm thinking it's gotta be 25. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to try this thing out. This is a, a pocket-sized dagger that you can use for a lot of utilities. And it's also got the holes down the middle, so it is actually for throwing as well, because it's for, they call it for cars, um, uh, weight, weight reduction. reduction. Essentially, that is a weight reduction. So we're going to try and see if this thing can stick. I will not lie, dude. I can't see it being worth $100, but I can see this being a lot more than $25 at the same time. Yeah, I just like, got to see how it performs. Yeah, here we go. Feel right. solid. 
Oh! <laughs> that felt like a bullet coming out the hand. Really? Like, I felt like if anything was there, I could have probably collateral. <laughs> so, like, right here, we have a normal Kanai hit, right here. You see a little dot with, like, a little bit of a line on the both sides, right? But then right here, this is this one. <laughs> Freaking cavity. Look at that, though, dude. That is solid. Yeah. <laughs> So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna try it on one more target and then we're gonna be trying it on a target that I don't usually do for throwing knives, but I think this thing might have the penetrating power. Okay, so here we go. We got the giant Gordiers. That way we have maximum depth. I am gonna be launching this thing, so shield up. Glasses on. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> went in there dude <laughs> and this thing is not thin dude this thing is white so we're gonna try one th last thing before you end this item off the way this thing is designed the way m40 actually designs their different pocket daggers they have neck daggers they have pocket daggers and the way they work is you actually can rest them in your palm hook them right in between your two fingers you'd be surprised actually how Wrong. It is. It doesn't hurt your hand. Wow. It <laughs> really doesn't hurt your hand? Piece, the back piece is really, really solid rubber. So, we're going to be trying this out. Let's see. All right. I bet you I could flip it in the air, catch it in between my knuckles, hit the first target. Okay. What do you want to bet? I want you to make me the underdog. Uh, uh, <laughs> you can't do this. Yeah, I can. Well, then let's see it, punk. All right. I will show you, you motherfucker. <laughs> oh. <laughs> let's see if the slow mo can capture this. I'm going to go for the right target. Oh! And check the landing right there in the center of the fingers. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> Last one, let's do it. That thing is straight up in there, dude. <laughs> that was like a magic trick. It's called the mountain lightning flash. No, no, really, that was like, that was weird. It was just kind of through and it was like in there. Yeah, and I got the receipt, we're gonna take it back. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back inside now. We tested it out, and I will say that it is a lot more expensive than it looks, probably. But, okay, all right. What do you think? Okay, that's it, obviously. It, it's <laughs> gotta be under 50. This is ridiculous. Like, this is obviously at under the $50 range. I mean, this is probably like if you go to Walmart, it's on the top shelf, but it's definitely under $50. It's still top shelf, though. What we're gonna do, whoever gets closest, I mean closest, I mean by centicles. What? I don't know, whatever, whatever guess between one, between the $1 and 50, but you gotta be the most accurate. So we're oh so we're guessing the price the yes, exact but price of whoever it. is the closest dollar per dollar cent percent closest will be the one that keeps this it also gets it right <laughs> well, all right so then what you guess yeah, you don't even know about guess I hadn't thought that part <laughs> thirty three dollars and eighty one cents there's no retail store that's charged thirty three dollars for anything ever that's so odd oh it's weird M forty eight um they actually released this the new advertisement they were saying like all our prices are like you've never seen before. <laughs> And you're like, wow, really low? No, really weird. We've got knives for $27.18. <laughs> We've got swords for $133. Go with, um, 40. But he said $40. I'm saying $33.18. Let's see who is correct. All right, so I found it online. This one's a black version instead of the silver. So hopefully it's not more expensive or less what, expensive. What that mean, worse. black? Like, what part of that is black? The handle? No, like, the whole blade's black. What I'm saying is, like, it. hopefully it's not... If it's worth more, that's f***ed up. But if it's worth less, it's even more f***ed up. Oh, <laughs> This is $36. Oh, so I won. Oh, oh motherfucker! It's goddamn me! Me! Wait, 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 what's the number you said? Just gonna nod. Wait, what number did you say? I said $33.18. Oh, you yeah. a dollar. It was by 18 cents. <laughs> Or, on screen, yeah. come on. The score is now tied. Let's find out what the last <laughs> item is here. Obviously, we know what the price is gonna max out at. But whoever gets it right gets to keep this item. And how we're gonna do it is the same as this. This might be just a new rule for this series. If we both know the obvious choice, whoever gets closest. All right, next item out of here, let's do it. Okay. No. It's back. <laughs> An M48 Naginata. Holy crap. I have no clue what a freaking M48 Naginata is. It's one of my favorite weapons in the world. Why? Because, you know, sword, you got a handle, you swing, it's sick. This thing is a sword, but with the leverage of a hammer. <laughs> 
Boom! Blade! Let's check this thing out. Let's see what the new M48 looks like. Alright, let's pull it out. There we go. That classic M48 freaking handling right here. The thing that's amazing about this, guys, let me know if you guys want to see like a, a video where this is a part of it. Is M48 design these rivets to where you can actually replace any kind of cording. So you can get chain link, you can get freaking paracord, you can get pretty much anything. It's designed to stick to the handle. So that's open ended for that reason. And then right here, we got got the M48 blade, dude. I already have a bat. The blade on this is smaller than other Naginatas. Right. You can tell this is gonna be thick. <laughs> oh my god. That is a Bowie knife on the end of a stick. <laughs> All right, you ready? Man, that's some reach. <laughs> that is a very long reach. Check it out. Let's do it right here. The Naginata chops. Let's do it. Three, two, one. Oh! More coming down. Oh! So that's right there is the carbonated power of the Nagina. I was gonna say that tasted bad. That's fresh though. Oh, yeah. yeah, it tasted real fresh. <laughs> tasted like above a hundred dollars of fresh. <laughs> this is sick. Alright, here we go. Testing out the Naginata once again. My favorite weapon of all time. I'm honestly saying that probably. Here we go, let's do it. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Destruction. Oh. 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 Yeah. oh yeah. The Nagitaton releases those endorphins. Yeah, dude. endorphins. Yeah. So did you see when the watermelon got hooked, dude? I did. That Literally, was sick. this thing worked as a hook to launch it up, despite the fact that this thing is absolutely disgusting to use and the nimbleness. This is this is the definition of a nimble. All right, believe it or not, Naginata's can also be used as a spear. So let's try that out. All right, Naginata's spear throw. Let's try it out. Three, two, one. Oh, oh beautiful. Dude. I told you that a Gita, that's my thing, man. I like it. The full thing went through. Even the ribbon went through. <laughs> I thought that was a sound effect, didn't you? Nope. That was me, the winner. King Reptile. All right, Rep Pack, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure I smash that like button. Leave a comment down below letting me know if you guys want to see another episode of Guess the Price. So, comment down below, guys. Spam the comments. And also, make sure you guys are subscribed and make sure you guys have post notifications on. Right now, there's like a lot of stuff going on on YouTube. So, make sure you have the post notifications on. Make sure you guys have it on. Verify that it's on because you guys do not want to miss the next video. Check out this on your screen right here. Which is the last episode of Guess That Price. I'm not gonna tell you who won, but it was definitely quite a challenge. There were some very strange things over there. So I'll see you over there, and as always, Rep Pack, adios. Bloop.